The growing antibiotic resistance is one of the most serious challenges facing mankind today. Because antibiotics may not be effective anymore in fighting bacterial infections in future generations. All patients presenting with signs of infection may not necessarily need antibiotic treatment. An early diagnosis and identification of patients that will benefit from antibiotics is therefore an important clinical need to avoid increasing antibiotic resistance. Adding the biomarker procalcitonin to clinical assessment is a helpful tool. Procalcitonin, or PCT, is highly sensitive and specific to bacterial infection. It increases within 3 to 6 hours after infection onset, with a peak after 12 to 24 hours. As the infection is controlled, PCT values decline rapidly by up to 50% per day. This makes PCT a suitable marker for assessing the response to antibiotic treatment and the prognosis. The extent of PCT increase is influenced by the severity of the infection and the extent of individual inflammatory response. Accordingly, diagnostic cutoffs of PCT vary with the severity of an infection. PCT levels below the cutoffs may direct physicians to look for other potential causes of the clinical conditions, for example, viral infection or non-infectious causes of disease. It is recommended that the first PCT measurement be initiated when the patient comes to the hospital with signs that could indicate infection. PCT supports the decision whether or not to initiate antibiotics. For example, in patients with symptoms of lower respiratory tract infections, or LRTI, PCT levels greater than 0.25 micrograms per liter suggest likelihood of bacterial infection and antibiotics should be initiated. The trend of PCT values over time can help to decide the right time to stop antibiotics. After a measurement on admission, it is recommended to remeasure PCT every 24 to 48 hours. It is a safe time point to stop antibiotics when the patient becomes clinically stable and PCT declines more than 80% below the peak observed value or PCT declines below an absolute threshold of 0.25 micrograms per liter in LRTI patients or below 0.5 micrograms per liter in sepsis patients. Numerous clinical studies have shown that this approach is safe and effective for avoiding unnecessary antibiotic treatment. International experts propose to start with clinical risk assessment and diagnosis, add PCT information to it for overall patient assessment, and then arrive at a decision on antibiotic therapy. After this, PCT should be sequentially tested to assess the response to therapy and aid in the decision for antibiotic discontinuation. PCT helps to prescribe antibiotics rationally and thus to save their power for future generations. For further information, visit www.procalcitonin.com.